Let's build the LEGO Star Wars Trade Federation Troop Carrier. Villa Verrocchino. If it's Star Wars, we collect it. Hello there, and thanks for visiting Villa Verrocchino. Today I'm going to be building the LEGO Star Wars Trade Federation Troop Carrier. This is set 40686. This is actually a May 1st promo that was available when ordering directly from LEGO. So we got up bright and early on May 1st. It was 2 a.m. for us here in New Zealand and we picked out three sets that were at the top of our wish list that added up to the qualifying spend threshold. So we got the three free gifts that were available. I took a quick look at all three gifts in an earlier video including unboxing that really cool metal coin but today I'm going to be building this set because I think it's just amazing. I cannot believe how many battle droid figures this one contains and such a fantastic way to celebrate the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Coming up really soon I'll build this set and we'll take a closer look at all of the details, all of these cool figures, but first let's take one last look at the packaging. I really like the bright and sunny artwork for this box. We have the troop carrier on Naboo and here we can see all of the battle droid figures that are included in this set. I cannot wait to get them all out and assembled. This of course is part of the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars range. We have that logo here in the corner and we also have the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace logo here at the top because of course this is from the Phantom Menace. We have all the set details over here. This is intended for ages 10 and up the set number and the set name. I really like this light blue Lego print behind the logo here. Little picture of a battle droids there on the side with the Lego Star Wars logo. The other side we have more sort of copyright text and not intended for small children. And I really like the back art. It's just nice and clean, isn't it? We can see that the two pieces come apart. We can see some of the battle droids out of the troop carrier. We've got a little bit of the movement here showing how the two pieces can slot apart. And we also have the 25 years of Lego Star Wars brick here. I don't actually have one of these yet. I've got them in sets, but I haven't actually opened them up. So I'm very keen to see that in person. Standard copyright stuff on the bottom and on the top, we have an image here of one of the pilot battle droid figures in one-to-one -one scale. So there we go. Such a bright and fun box. I cannot wait to get building. The box opened really easily. There were just two strips of sellotape to snip through. There was no glue, so it stays intact, very nice and clean, perfect for collectors. Inside, there were three bags numbered there, nice and easy to follow through. One single piece there that is separate. It was just inside the box. And of course, we have the instruction booklet there. Lovely art there of the finished set on the cover. And we also have that 25 years of Lego Star Wars brick in there. So let's get building. I found the Trade Federation Troop Carrier to be a really fun build. It took me just over 38 minutes working at my usual Lego building pace. I really like the colors here. Of course, after watching the Phantom Menace on the big screen, the colors for the Trade Federation vehicles as we see them on Naboo are just so iconic. We have that tan color that matches so well to the battle droids and the AAT tank. That brown, of course, ties into the MTT that we see a lot of on Naboo. It just works so well. I absolutely love all of the battle droids that comes with this set. I wish I could have army built them but I'm just happy to have one for now and it was so fun to build. So there we go. This is the fully built Trade Federation Troop Carrier. This looks absolutely awesome. So we can see that there is a sliding mechanism. We can take this section completely out and we can see all of those really cool battle droid figures all folded up ready for deployment. I did find these were actually a little bit harder to put in place than I thought. It's a little bit of an awkward folded up position to be pressing straight down on these figures to get their feet to kind of line up there so they're not fully bedded down. I'm just a little bit worried about potentially putting a little bit too much pressure and snapping some pieces. Uh, there are some spare arms in this set. I ended up with a few left over but none of the legs or heads so I'm being very very careful so there is just a tiny little bit of you know extra space here. I'll probably very carefully press these down before I put them on display because I don't want them to fall over and we can see that we can sort of 
deploy them with these moving hinged parts here which I think is really fun and then we've got all of their blaster rifles all stored nice and safe there and if I can get this to align up we can put this tray back in gotta get the green bits lined up there we go so slots back in there those green pieces disappear I really like the color scheme of this it looks really fun and I think this was such the perfect set to release for the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace and the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars because of course LEGO launched their Star Wars line during The Phantom Menace release so what a really fun way to celebrate the coinciding of those two anniversaries I was too young unfortunately when the Phantom Menace came out to buy Lego I simply didn't have enough pocket money and too young to sort of afford Lego for myself so this is really sort of fulfilling my childhood dream of collecting Lego sets from the Phantom Menace and of course this is sort of a reissue a modern interpretation of one of those very early 1999 sets from the Phantom Menace so I think this was a really cool one I know that because it was a free gift with purchase promo item rather than a set available at the store shelves these will probably most likely go to collectors rather than kids that want to recreate the battle of Naboo with their Lego sets and I do hope there is enough stock to go around so every collector that wants to add this to the collection is able to get their hands on them I'm already seeing them popping up on the secondary market locally so hopefully there's a fair few of them to go around because I think this is a really fun set set absolutely wonderful way to celebrate May 4th by snagging some free Lego by buying some of the Lego that I already wanted to and of course because this is an anniversary set it did include the 25 years of Lego Star Wars brick this is my first set that includes this I've got a few others that I haven't built yet so it was fun to see this finally for the first time some of the other Lego sets that include this anniversary brick have some kind of display base so you can securely attach it so you don't lose it and you remember which set it came with this one it doesn't have a base or anything to attach it to it just kind of sits next to it but I still think it's really neat that they included this one so there you go that was my build of the Trade Federation Troop Carrier Lego set that was this year's free gift with purchase for May 1st. I think this one is really fun and I'm so happy I was able to snag it. I was a little bit worried stocks might run out but yes very very excited to have this one for my Lego Star Wars collection. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today as I opened up another Lego Star Wars set and had fun building it. I think this one is so fun and I absolutely love the Phantom Menace so I'm trying to collect up all of the new Phantom Menace Lego sets. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the galaxy and let's hang out again very soon. Catch you in the next video and as always may the force be with you. If you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.